and the ball comes into the center where Dean Salmon gets it. Dean Salmon right through the center towards Jimmy Duggan. Frank Canavan is there, so is Eugene Mulligan. Eugene Mulligan's clearance, shortish. And Dean Salmon takes his shot, it's hit the upright. And one of the Galway men is down with an injury in front of the goal. The ball has come down and has been cleared out by Paddy McCormick as one of the Galway men, Emmett Farrell it was, he's all right. And here come off the ending attack now. And it is John Cooney trying to get up the field. It's waved up unceremoniously there. And there is a free quickly taken for the Offaly men. And it is taken by Willie Bryan. Out comes Jack Cosgrove. Down the centre. And very quickly and nicely grabbed there by Eugene Mulligan, keeping the ball in play. Or is he? No, he's not. It's out over the sideline. And it's a line ball for Galway. Line ball for Galway. And it will be taken just outside the 50-yard line by Cody McDonough. Get up for it. Get up for it. And it comes down in the center to Kieran Claffey. And here's Kieran going up the field. Willie Joyce is after him. It's still Kieran Claffey. He's on the 21. The 14. He takes his shot. And saved by P.J. Smith. They're in the top of him. But he's got it. And out he comes. Open except for P.K. Smith, and here's Eugene Mulligan coming in now with the shot that's high, curling to the left into the goal mouth, and Smith comes out. Ball goes, whistle's gone, whistle's gone, whistle's gone, whistle's gone. Three in. Kevin Kilmurray finished that in the net, but referee Paul Kelly had blown his whistle before that ball was kicked, and there is a free in four off the 14 yard line and Tony McTague is to take it and there's the first score of the game a point Tony McTague the scorer after five minutes of play Tony who has now scored one goal and 30 points in the championship and the score is awfully one point Galway no score PJ Smith placing the ball for the kick out Jack Cosgrave's kick. Michael Rooney can't get up as high as Eugene Mulligan. Eugene Mulligan's intense pass got by Liam O'Neill for Galway. Now towards Pat Burke. I met Farrell is fouled out there by Mick O'Rourke. And there is a free for Galway. 60 yards out from the offly goal. And will be taken by Willie Joyce. Oh, a shortish one. There was an intended pass to Jimmy Duggan. It went and get to Willie Bryan. Willie Bryan trying to keep the ball in play on the far side. Doesn't succeed. Line ball to Galway. Off the one point. Galway no score. Galway playing with a strong wind in this first half. And the line ball, they're switching. As I told you, there were switches in the early stages before the game started. Tony McTague went top of the right, and Lee O'Neill followed him there. The Galway man, Lee O'Neill followed him there, just as uh, Noel Cullen followed his man out. It's Willie Joyce with the ball now to Frank Canavan. Canavan tried to get inside, take the shot, and there's the equalizer. Frank Canavan getting the pat on the back from Jimmy Duggan. For that well-taken point and the score after just over six minutes of play is Galway one point, Offaly one point, or should I say just over seven minutes of play. Ball pace for the kick out. And it is taken by Paddy McCormick. Get up, Taffy, hold it. Ah, yeah. Jimmy Duggan with it now for Galway. Gone back as Mick is Paddy McCormick and Paddy getting the ball and the referee blowing his whistle and awarding a free against Offley for an unnecessary foul there off the ball. One of the uh, one of the uh, Galway men down injured. It is Seamus Layton who's gone down injured. And the referee right up with the play, not standing for any of this cutology of tapping ankles and there's a free in for Galway being taken for them by Liam Salmon saved in there the ball pretty near the goal mouth and the referee has gone right in there and one of the Galway men is absolutely stretched out there in the goal Martin Furlong uh, was involved in that uh, he was fouled first and Jimmy Duggan was the recipient of a knock there that uh, well was quite a swinger Maybe it's as well that Martin had the flu. 
Anyway, there's a free out for off lane taken by Paddy McCormick, and it comes to Nicholas Gavin. Nicholas Gavin upfield with the ball now. No pattern, doesn't quite hold on to it. He's willing to throw himself in there. Ball goes to Jody Gunning of off lead. Jody is fouled with a quick free taken by Kevin Kilmurray. Up to Sean Cooney. Sean Cooney on the 21 yard line. Into the centre towards Kevin Kilmurray. Sean Cooney. And the referee has blown his whistle and has awarded a free in to Offley. And this free is on the 14 yard line. And one of the Offley men has gone down injured now. This is a hard hitting final up to now. John Cooney being attended to as Tony McKay gets ready to take another free. 14 yard line. Left footed across the goal and it's gone wide. And the score remains Galway one point, Oakley one point. And they are still attending to Sean Cooney up on the right corner here. Seems to be pretty shaken. No drawback. Kick out by Jack Cosgrave for the Galway man. Referee awards a free to Offley for Willie Joyce putting his hand on the back there of Kieran Saffy, and this free will be taken by Willie Bryan from about 65 yards out to the Galway goal. Remember Offley playing against the wind as the ball very nicely grabbed there by Tony McTague, and Tony sends a high one. It's dropping just outside the parallelogram. Kevin Kilmurray trying to get in. Noel Cullen gets his boot to it. Out it comes to Willie Joyce of Galway. Ball breaks to Eugene Mulligan. Eugene Mulligan trying to work his way up. His way is blocked and there's a free to Offley. About 65 yards out from the Galway goal. And this one will be taken by Nick Cavill. Lovely ball, tapped down to short, to, and it's, oh, it's not, John Cooney missed it across the goal, it looked as if it must go into the goal, it didn't, the ball was grabbed by Brendan Cotterton, and he forced out over the end line, and there is a 50 for Offley, and I think the Galway backs are breathing, well, a sigh of relief after that. Willie Bryan to take the 50. Willie Joyce getting it for Galway. And the referee awarding a free to Galway from just outside their own 21 yard line. 10 minutes gone, first half. Jack Cosgrove's kick. And the referee penalizes Nick Cavan for putting his arms around Jimmy Duggan, getting ready to go up for that ball. And there's a free to Galway to be taken. 55, 60 yards out from the off they go. Frank Canavan gets his hand to it. Paddy McCormick gets his hand to it. Ball breaks between them. Nick Ryan pushed in the back, and there is a free out for Offley from about five yards from the own end line. And Paddy McCormick, the sturdy man from Row, to take the free. Liam Salmon for Galway, but Willie Bryan for Offley with it now. T.J. Kilmore racing up to the ball, getting there before Kieran Zappi. A long ball, Emmett Farrell trying to get it before it goes over the end line, keeps it in play. Got out there by Mick O'Rourke now for the Offley men. Into the centre to Willie Bryan for Offley. Willie Bryan along the ground, far side of the field, up to his cousin, Hurt Connor, who doesn't quite hold on to it. No Cullen, clearing out for Galway. And it's Willie Bryan again. Shorty's pass up to Tony McTage. Lee Moniz beats him. Willie Bryan now getting the ball. Out along the wing to Kevin Kilmurray. Kevin Kilmurray. A dangerous ball. Hopping ball in towards the goal. But Jack Cosgrave is there. And Jack grabbing it and clearing it. Jimmy Duggan further down the field. Emmett Farrell coming out for it. Out to Seamus Layden. Can't quite get there. Mick Ryan there, Mick Ryan getting it, and Seamus throwing, throwing himself at the ball. It goes off his hands, and there's a line ball for Offley. And it is, I would say, about uh, 40 yards or so out from the Offley goal. 
up on the left in front of the Oakham stand. Here's the kick. Jimmy Duggan, or Lean Salmon it is. Willie Joyce. Up between Frank Hannigan and Paddy McCormick. Paddy McCormick grabbing it and getting it. Emmett Farrell grabbing Paddy and getting him. Three outs for Offley. Forty yards out from their own goal. Willie Joyce trying to get up to it, get to the right. Seamus Layden. And nicely got there by Eugene Mulligan. Michael Rooney is after him. Fouls him, and there's a free for off play just outside the 70 yard line. Willie Bryan takes the kick. Well upfield. Willie Joyce. Lean Salmon. Seamus Layden gone across now out towards the far side of the field. The wandering Seamus. Intended pass to this side of the field, but it goes astray and it goes to Eugene Mulligan. His pass comes right upfield and runs on towards Sean Cooney. Noel Pollard gone back, being tackled by Jody Gunning. Noel kick goes upfield, but Eugene Mulligan up now to Sean Cooney. Sean Cooney, 25 yards out now on the 14. He's fouled and there's a free and four. Offley on the 14 yard line. Tony McTate to take it. The score at this moment, one point each. There's Tony McTay getting ready now for the kick. Concentration. Here it is. It's over the bar, a point, and awfully lead by that point scored by Tony McTay, making the score now after just about 15 minutes of play. Offley two points, Galway one. Both points scored by Tony McTague, who now has a total of one goal and 31 points. And Emmett Farrell, who's moved out to left half forward, with the ball now for Galway. Jimmy Duggan, gone in, he's got the ball on the 14, trying to get room to swing his leg. He swings it all right, and Martin Furlong just gets it out under pressure, but the pressure was caused by the incoming Frank Canavan and it went off Frank's hand and out over the line and wide. Kick out by Paddy McCormick. Get up, Canavan! Ball comes now, Kieran Caffey up the field. Tony McCabe with it now. Where will I go, says Tony, and he discovers very quickly and gets the ball left footed way up the field. And Jack Hamlet is standing it. They come to the Sean Evans. Sean on the 14. He's going through. He's trying to get room to take a shot. He passes the ball back. It's a shot on the ground. It's saved. It comes back to Sean Evans. Sean trying to get it out. He decides he'll try and get it in instead, and he sends it over the bar. Sean Evans, the scorer. And what an escape that was for the Galway backs as that ball popped in past Jack Cosgrove and Sean Evans put Galway ahead with, or awfully further ahead with a score, three points to one. Just over 16 minutes down in this first half. And Eugene Mulligan, who seems to be everywhere as usual for Offley, up along the right wing. Old Cotton gone back. Right across into the center. Tony McKay just getting ready to go up for it. He didn't have to. It came down to him. Liam O'Neill after him. And this time Tony sold, sold too many. He sold too many dummies. And uh, he was penalized for holding onto the ball too long. And there is a free. He was limping a little when he got up, but it seems to have uh, disappeared now. No, it hasn't. He's limping a little now, but Jack Cosgrove takes the kick for Galway, way up along the left wing, vista down by Mick Ryan, and not a sideline ball, but a free. There's a free for a push in the back there. Linesman is placing the ball for a line ball, but there is a free to be taken by Lean Salmon. 35, oh, 40 yards out from the off we go. Martin Furlong brings it 
down on the goal mouth, and it's a goal! It's a goal, a goal for Galway, and uh, Seamus Leighton, the scorer, Seamus Leighton, the scorer, Martin Furlong couldn't hold on to it, Kenny brought it down, the forwards were in, and the ball finished to the net by Seamus Leighton, and that makes the score. After uh, just over 18 minutes of play, Galway, one goal and one point, Offley, three points. And uh, Martin Furlong is down being attended to in the goal. He's up, he's all right. Come back into position. Here comes Kieran Saffy. Out to the wing to Willie Bryan. Willie Bryan being chased by Emmett Farrell. Off the attacking again now. A dangerous high lobbing, dropping ball. And it is half locked down. Cleared out by TJ Gilmore. Come to Tony McTague. Tony outside the 21 is held by Liam O'Neill and the referee right beside them awards a free to Offley and it is to be taken by to Offley and it is to be taken by Tony McTain. I don't believe it. He has sent it wide. 25 yards out, dead straight in front of the goal, and the mighty one has sent it wide. How odd, how odd, how strange. Well, the score remains. Galway, one goal and one point. Off the three points. Jack Cosgrove having a few words. Exactly what they are, I'm not too sure. He's trying to get the cameraman to move back a little bit so that he can take his kick, I think. Lane Salmon doesn't hold on to the ball. Coley McDonough has it now. Coley's pass is shortish one. It's knocked away from Emmett Farrell by Eugene Mulligan. Line ball for Galway. Michael Rooney on top of the right. And Emmett Farrell left half forward on the Galway team as Lane Salmon takes this kick. Jimmy Duggan out to the wing. Mick Ryan for Offley. Ball tapped down, of course, now comes Kevin Kilmarty, and here comes Kevin up on, on the wing now, pretending to pass, trying to get inside Noel Cullen, who arrests his progress, and Kevin's shot is half blocked down, it's got now by Sean Evans, Sean trying to worry his way through, right across the goal mouth, and coming out, thundering out, Brendan Cullen, out to Seamus Layden, who's absolutely everywhere, up to Willie Joyce, Willie Joyce, 70, 60, 50, 40 yards out now from the Offley goal. A high ball that's in and Martin Furlong. Martin Furlong clears it out and it goes out onto the wing where it goes to here in Zappi. 20 minutes gone, first half. Galway leading by that one point. Mort Connor after the ball. Fouled and there is a free in for Offley just inside the 50-yard line and Tony McTague is going to take it. Will Tony make up for that last one that he missed? Well, this one is against the wind, and this is really putting it up to. He doesn't try to get it up. He sends it along the ground. And T.J. Gilmore gets the ball up into his hand and clears it away down the field. Jimmy Duggan just can't get his hands up to it. Martin Heavey out now. And in it comes with Galway's Liam Salmon racing away. He shot, and he has sent it wide from what seemed a scorable position, but he was under quite an amount of pressure as he took the kick, and although the Galway captain is a little bit disappointed, no doubt, he looks quite all right uh, from that shaking as he kicked the ball. Paddy McCormick with the kick out. Willie Joyce down to Frank Canavan. Frank Canavan with the ball now 40 yards out. A tap high and a tap that's gone wide. Frank Canavan uh, shaking his head with uh, no little disgust and who can blame him. Galway playing with the wind, only leading by that one point and they could be very valuable misses, shall we say, before the game is over. Patrick McCormack, a lowish kick. Paddy can't get his rise into them at all. Martin Heavey upfield. Paulie McDonough robbed this time by Jody Gunning, and Jody going away up the field now for Offley. He's 40 yards out. Gets inside his man, gets it to Sean Cooney. It's just a great save by P.J. Smith. And out he goes. 
A great save there. A hard, rasping shot. And the ball way down the field. Willie Bryan now. Pulled off the halfway line. Lowish one. Willie Joyce being tackled by Kieran Caffey. Mark Connor out there for off place. Gets it in towards the center to Sean Cooney. Jack Coster, Tony McDonough back there. And Coley gets it into his hand to clear it out. But who did it go to? What an off play man. Oh, Willie oh, Bryan. And Sean Evans out now with the ball for Offley, a dangerous hopping ball. Hopping into the hands of the outcoming goalkeeper, PJ Smith. Centerfield. Willie Joyce, Frank Canavan, trying to get inside to Paddy McCormick. Out to the wing to Michael Rooney. Michael turning now and sending a ball in the general direction of the goalpost, but why? Goal remains, Galway, one goal and one point, awfully three points, that's four points to three. We make it 24 minutes gone in the first half and the last score was in the 18th minute. Paddy McCormick with the kick out. Michael Rooney getting it down. Willie Joyce with it now. An intended pass to Frank Canavan but a bit high and it's Mick Ryan getting it out and both sides seem to be suffering from Croke Park nerves or some kind of nerves. Although you'd imagine 25 minutes into the game that they would be gone. Line ball for Galway. Be taken by Michael Rooney. And the ball gone off the hands of Frank Canavan and gone wide. Coming out field. Notice there's a switch in the off the team. Kieran Saffy gone centre half forward and Kevin Kilmurray gone centre field. And from the kick out, Kevin Kilmurray comes after the ball. Emmett Farrell of Galway. I'd say he, well, let's see what the referee says. He looked as if he was lying on it. But uh, the referee is going to hop it. Ball fisted down by Mick Ryan of Offley. Willie Bryan up the field, Sean Evans. Sean Evans outside the 50 now. Nice pass across to the far side and intercepted by Noel Connor and, and Noel a relieving clearance way downfield. Michael Rooney with it now, cross into the center. Pat Burke, Pat Burke a dangerous hopping ball that just hops to the right and goes wide. Score remains four points to three in favor of the Galway men. One goal and one point to Offley, three points. Steady drizzle falling now. Not a heavy drizzle, but a steady drizzle. Get up, Nixon! The ball comes to Emmett Farrell for Galway. And the pass that was to be for Willie Joyce went to Kevin Kilmurray. Kevin Kilmurray to Tony McTague, who just can't get into the game today. Liam O'Neill is out there as Liam has got the ball. Now it's Liam Salmon. Now it's Emmett Farrell. In towards the goal, hopping about 10 yards out. Pat Burke trying to get in there. Paddy McCormick trying to make sure that he doesn't, and he doesn't. Once again, Liam Salmon waiting the ball to come out. Willie Bryan joining him in the center of the field. Two number eights and the two captains. Kick out to the far side of the field. And the referee penalizes Martin Heavey of uh, Offley for holding on over there. And there's a three, four, Galway, and Jimmy Duggan shaping up to it, but no, he is leaving it to Seamus Blade. Seamus, this is his first free take of the day. And he sends a very short one intended to Liam Salmon, and that's where it goes. On the 21, Liam across and wide. 
Well, Galway have had enough chances down there to stretch that lead. They only lead by one point at this stage, one one to three points. And this stage on our stopwatch is about 27 minutes gone. Pat Burke on top of the right, Michael Rooney, right half forward for Galway, as Jimmy Duggan is going through with the ball, is tripped by Nick Gavin. Nick says, I didn't do it, the referee says I, or he did, and that's what counts. Seamus Layden now dead straight in front of the goal, or almost dead straight in front of the goal, and here's his kick. And it's over the bar, a point for Galway, scored by Seamus Layden. Seamus, who got the goal, the scorer of that point, making the score now. Galway, one goal and two points. Offley, three points. And the stopwatch says, just over 28 minutes gone, first half. Paddy McCormack once again with the kick out. Clouds thickening overhead. Lean Salmon with the ball now. For Galway. Ball going down near the end line, gone over the end line, and gone wide. Well, this was a game that everybody thought was going to sparkle. Up to now, the sparkle must be reserved for the second half. It's close, but uh, not productive of any sparkling football up to now. Get it up! Martin Havey trying to do what he's told, get it up, and as he does, the ball grabbed by Liam O'Neill for Galway, who gets it down, nicely seeded by Paddy McCormack, and Paddy gets his clearance out to this side of the field, very near the sideline, over the sideline, line ball for Galway. Halfway line, and Cody McDonough is going to take it. Linesman placing the ball with that one hand, I wonder does he play basketball. Emmett Farrell. For Galway. Very near the end line, gone over the end line, and it's wide. Galway, one goal and two points, off the three points. Paddy McCormack once again to kick the ball out. Remember, Galway playing with the wind, awfully against it in the first half as we're a half an hour into the first half. Just 30 minutes gone and 10 minutes still Where left in this me? first half. And it's Sean Evans who's come out the field in an effort to wake up the Offley men, but it is T.J. Gilmore who gets it and clears it down. Tommy Joe way down the field. Ball goes now. And Seamus Layden fouls, the referee says, and there is a free in for uh, Galway, just outside the 21-yard line, and the free will be taken by Lane Salmon. Lane Salmon to take it, just on the 21-yard line, and slightly to the left of the goal. There's the shot. And there's the point, it's over the bar. Galway scored by Lean Salmon. That makes the score now. The Galway men leading with the score one goal and three points to Offley three points after 31 minutes of play. Galway with the win, leading by three points in a game that up to now just doesn't seem to have got off the ground. Center feed Willie Bryan, can't hold on to it. Ball comes out towards Seamus Layden. Mick Ryan is back there. Now it's Eugene Mulligan for Offley. Eugene fouled as he kicks the ball. And the referee, well, he can't give the free where the ball landed because it landed out over the sideline. So he gives the free where it happened, and that's 70 yards out from the Offley goal. And it will be taken by the captain, Willie Bryan. Colin McDonough tapped as he was coming away there, and there's a free out for Galway to be taken by Jack Cosby. Uh -huh. 
famous late number 15, can't get it away. Paddy McCormick out now to Michael Rooney. Michael worrying his way in, tips the ball in towards Seamus Layton. Seamus Layton, like a hare after the ball, gets to it. Try to get it through the centre, but out comes the clearance, and is cleared out by Michael Ryan. Comes out to Mert Connor, who's come down the field for Offley. Mert Connor across now, an intended one towards uh, John Cooney, who didn't get to him. Now it is Liam Salmon to Willie Joyce. Willie Joyce. That's the way the ball is running for Galway now, running in towards the off the goal, but cleared out a first time clearance there. A back in it comes again from Lane Salmon, and it's gone wide. So the main Galway, one goal and three points. Off me, three points. 33 minutes down in the first half. Martin Furlong, racing the ball. And here's the kick out by Paddy McComb. Martin Heavey, Paddy picking his spot, nine, not trying to get terrific distance out of it against the wind. And Martin's kick goes out over the sideline and there's a sideline kick for Galway. Taken over on the far side of the field by Brendan Collins and the referee awards the play to Galway. And it'll be taken on the right side there by Seamus Layton, who will take all the Galway threes from the right, I'm sure. Billy Joyce looks to me as if uh, he was willing to, but uh, Seamus is the man who takes them from the right and has been doing quite well of these scoring efforts up to now, and here he comes. Gone over the bar for a point by Seamus Layton. Seamus very much the marksman today. And Galway now leading after 34 minutes, leading with the score. One goal and four points to Offley. Three points. Seamus Layton, who has won three All Ireland so far, bidding now to join Matty McDonough as the only Connacht man ever to win four All Ireland. Lane Salmon, now Jimmy Duggan, now Frank Canavan, little Frank Canavan, a shot at a point by Frank Canavan, nice passing movement right up from the center of the field, Frank Canavan finishing it off, the full forward and there's Frank finishing it off, getting his second point of the game, and Galway leads one goal and five points to Offley three points, and that one goal and five made up of uh, one goal and two points scored by Seamus Layton, two points by Frank Canavan, and the other point was by Liam Salmon. Remember, Galway playing with the wind in the first half. Kevin Kilmurray with the ball now for Offley. Out this side of the field, Jody Gunning will come into the half forward line, tries to beat Emmett. A foul for it doesn't. Emmett will on the ground now. Seamus Layton trying to get inside the injury out of Vic Ryan. And a lovely dangerous hopping ball across the fist of by Jimmy Duncan and saved by Martin Burda at the second time. And this time he is fouled by Paddy Burke and is upended there in a the tackle by Paddy Burke who went in on him. And Martin Furlong saving twice extremely well. And again, Martin Furlong is in the wars and down injured in the off goal. But in attending to him, Ozzy Bennett there on the right that we associate more with the Tipperary herding team. From the three out, the ball in the center of the field, Willie Bryan for Offley. Out to Kevin Kilmurray. John Cooney's on top of the right now as Kevin Kilmurray comes up field. Willie Joyce after him. Still Kevin Kilmurray. A high shot that gone over the bar, a point by Kevin Kilmurray, who worked his way right up from about 50 yards out from his own goal to within 30 yards of the Galway goal to make the score now. Galway 1-5, Offley 4 points, and 37 minutes down in the first half. And Jack Cosgrove, number three for Galway, getting ready now to take the kick out. That 
was Hartley's first score in this game since the 16th minute. Just joined the attacking superiority of Galway up to now, but remember Galway playing with the wind in this first half. Might be the feed in there by T.J. Kilmore. Seamus Layden again. Up along the wing, Emmett Farrell running out to it. In case by Eugene Mulligan. Frank Canavan now. Bill Frank Canavan. Paddy McCormick blocking that one well. Eugene Mulligan now for Offley. And the ball going near the side and kept in play. Down in under us by Tony McDonough. He's harassed there by Jody Gunning and the referee awards the free to Galway. And Jack Cosgrove has come way down the field, taking it just outside the Offley 70-yard line. And this tall guarder, the last two minutes of the first half gets the ball downfield. Michael Rock with it now. A little bit of misunderstanding there in the back line. And Sean Evans, who's come outfield some time ago for Offley, fouled in possession. And there is a free for Offley. Sean Evans, who indeed was the defender in his minor days, out around the middle of the field now. Leave on here with the ball for Galway. Nicely held back in. Oh, nicely robbed by Jimmy Duff and Nick Tavern holding the ball very nicely and a quick robbery there by Jimmy Duggan who was held by Nick Tavern and there's a free in for Offley. Uh, for Galway, for Galway. The Tavern Duggan rivalry going back to college days. Here's Liam Salmon. And there's a point for Galway. Galway, Liam Salmon picking them off and Seamus Layden picking them off too and so at this stage of the game uh, with just seconds left in the first half. Galway lead one goal and six points to Offley's four points. Galway playing with the wind, first half. And Liam Salmon, who's having one mighty game in the center of the field, up to Jimmy Duggan. Jimmy with it now. Feeding across wing. Paddy Burke on out to it. And Pat says a high one that's gone wide. One six to four points and seconds left in the first half. <laughs> Referee looking at his watch. Halftime whistle coming up very, very soon. Paddy McCormick with the kick out. And there goes the halftime whistle. Referee has awarded a free to Offley. And this will be taken by Nick Clavin. Remember, Offley playing with the wind in the second half. A lovely ball. Way down field. down by TJ Gilmore. TJ into the center. Michael Rudy now for Galway. Up to a fat buck just pointing at it. Comes down. Willie Bryant coming out to it now, going very near the sideline. Willie going to keep it in play. And Jimmy Duggan just tries to shoulder him off it, but uh, doesn't get to him. Way up the east, Horst Connor is shot across the goal mouth. And no Connor is falling on it. And it's not quite getting there. And they're very obvious. Push in the back there. Uh, push in the back. As there is a free now for Offley. Dead straight in front of the goal on the 21-yard line. And Tony McCabe will take it. Well, almost every day of the week, it would be a point, and it is today. Tony McKay getting his eye back in now. That's his third point of the game. And Tony narrowing the gap there. Goldway leading one goal and six points to Offley's five points after just a minute of play in the second half. Nine points to five. P.J. Smith with a kick, with a ball placed for the kick out by Jack Cosgrove. Far side of the field, Michael Rooney trying to get the ball. Goes back to Cody McDonough. And Jimmy Duggan now. Here's Jimmy coming up the field. Into Fred towards Frank Canavan. Goes to Michael Rooney. Michael Rooney along the ground. But there's Nick Ryan. He can't quite hold on to it. Pat Burke trying to get a hold of it. Nick O'Rourke on out now for Offley. Number four. 
But he had his own men right in possession and a long relieving freedom. Brought down by Willie Joyce, Julian Salmon. And Frank Hanover had the ball in front of the goal. A shot down here, sent it over the bar. Sent it over the bar. He's gone down, doubled up there with a knock, but he took that one very quickly, sent it over the bar for the point, his third point of the game, and that makes the score. Goalway won seven, off three, five points. After two minutes of play, and Paddy McCormick getting ready to take the uh, kick out. Eugene Mulligan for Offley. Trying to shake off Michael Rooney, can't, and there's a free for Offley. To be taken by Nicholas Sabin. And Canavan is all right. He's resumed up the other end of the field. Nick Sabin's kick out towards the right. Jody. Ball grabbed out there by Jody Gunning. Jody. John Rooney got out. Sean Cooney got inside. The ball dropped in now towards the goal mouth. John Evans trying to fist it in, and it's caught and grabbed by Sean Cooney, who takes the shot and sends it wide. Galway 1-7, awfully five points. Ten points to five, and Sean Cooney, the taker of that one on the run, just didn't come off. Heavy rain falling now at Croke Park. A heavy drizzle, shall we describe it as, more than heavy rain. It's just as wedding. Sean Cooney. T.J. Gilmore very hungry for the ball there, and as he went up in the air, he well, he's getting his name written down by the referee, who, as I said earlier, isn't standing for any kind of nonsense whatsoever. Tony McTay to take this three just outside the 50-yard line, win behind him. He did a goal mouth that hit somebody's hand, and the umpire did not one. Close thing there for the Galway defence. P.J. Smith with the ball placed for Jack Cosgrove. Martin Heavey, the quiet man of the Offley team, into Willie Bryan. Offley moving with a little bit more rhythm in this half. And Willie trying to solo his way all the way up, dropped by Jimmy Devon. Jimmy Duggan to Frank Canavan. Frank Canavan going up and Seamus Layton going back as if he was expecting a pass which didn't come his way and it's Nick Ryan now coming out with the ball. Four off day is fouled as he comes and there is a free out to be taken by Nick O'Rourke for the off the men. That's Lane Salmon getting the look of the bounce. Emmett Farrell, round you can see, has got quite steady. And this is Frank Canavan now. And Seamus Layden's gone inside him. Intended pass to Seamus, it goes to Michael Rooney. Michael Rooney upended, but the ball going back. And the ball cleared out now, but in now comes Lean Salmon. Lean Salmon shot goes to the left and goes wide. And there was a clash there. Uh, between two of the players. One was Mick Ryan. Mick is all right. And not because Paddy McCormack. Paddy McCormack gone back in. And looking a little bit shaken as he's gone in. It's a Galway man who's gone down injured. And uh, Galway man being attended to. There's a 50 for Galway. Frank Carleen Salmon to take Lean Salmon. Lean Salmon to take uh, the 50. John Smith is in the game for Offley. And Kieran Taffy has gone off, but Lean Salmon takes the shot into the goal mouth. Held by Willie Joyce. Surrounded by Offley men, still Willie Joyce. And he's held it too long, he's held it too long. The referee awards the free to Offley, penalizing the Galway man for holding on to it too long. John Smith on at right full back for Offley. Nick Ryan. 
Not sure where Mitt Ryan has gone, but he'll follow the play. Martin Heavey with the ball now. Up now towards... He's beaten by T.J. Gilmore. T.J. up the field. Nickel Rock going for the ball. It goes off his hand, and it's gone wide. Smith down center half back for Offley and Nick Cavan gone in center field. Kieran Saffy gone off. That's the switch. And here Offley is the attack now with Nicholas Savin with it. Nicholas Savin, 40 yards out, very near out the sideline, but he gets his kick in towards the goal mouth. Kevin Kilmurray is trying to get it up. T.J. Kilmore is after him. Kilmore, the find of the year in football, getting the ball out. Back in it comes from the ever vigilant Eugene Mulligan. Tony McTay back to Mulligan. Willie Bryan snapping it up. And here is my no tolerance. Shorty Steerance. Jody Cunning coming out for it, Lean Salmon. And that ball is very, very greasy. Bert Connor now for Offley. Mert from 40 yards out high and over the bar. A point for Offley by Mert Connor. Narrowing the gap now to just four points between them. Here's Bert Connor, the cousin of Willie Bryan, who plays at the center of the field. Taking that one as it came his way. Goalway, one goal and seven points. Offley, six points, eight minutes down, second half. Jack Cosgrove with the kick out. Referee penalizing Offley for, I think, going up in the back of one of the Galway men there. Free taken by Lee O'Neill, just outside his own 70 yard line. Galway leading by four points. Offley playing with the wind as you'd almost want them to put the lights on here at the moment. It's got quite dark here at Grove Park. Three outs, four off play for pushing the back there. Nick O'Rourke to take the kick. Tony McTay can't quite get onto it. Substitute on the Galway team. You get it in the moment. Eugene Mulligan with the ball now. Eugene Mulligan out now to Nick Cavan. Nick Cavan getting inside. Tony McDonough and Nick Cavan going on up the field. Two Galway men after. He's still going on. He's pushed in the back by Colin as he's going through to take his shot. And there is a free as Michael Rooney goes off the Galway team and is replaced by Tom Divley. Michael Rooney off, Tom Divley on at right half forward, and Tony McTague to take this free for. Here's Tony McTague now in the 10th minute, sending this one and sending it over the bar for Rothley. Another point for Offley. They're picking off the points now. And at this stage, they trail by just three points. And the score, Galway, one goal and seven points. Offley, seven points. And Tony McTage, total for the day, four points. Adding to his 129, with which he started, he now has one goal and uh, 33 points scored this year. And now the game, they're getting to liven up a bit as Nick is seven. Gets the ball out of the wing to Sean Cooney. Sean Cooney into Nicholas Tavern. Nicholas picked up now by Billy Joyce. And Willie Joyce blocking that one very well. And there is a free two goal or two goal way from just outside their own 70 yard line. Nick Tavern seems to have got a knock there. And the three has been taken by T.J. Kilmore. T.J. way up the field. Ball feeder by Willie Bryan. Into the center to Kevin Kilmurray. Referee lets the play go on, gives off the, the advantage. Out to uh, Willie Bryan. 14 yard line, out near the sideline, far side of the field. And there's a dangerous curling ball in towards the goal. The referee has blown his whistle and penalizes the uh, goal way back for a foul there. And there's a free and for Offley. Almost dead straight in front of the goal. Tony McChase to take it. Send it over the bar. And that's now 
battles it now to just two points. Tony McCain, the scorer. Tony, who was in the doldrums as far as scoring in the first half, has come right back into the scoring this second half. And the score, Galway 1-7, off the eight points, 12 minutes gone, second half. And that's the fifth point of the game for Tony McCain. Nice bit of feeling there by John Smith. John Smith of Gracefield, now the Offaly champions have a man on the team, and now it's Tony McCain with the ball. And as somebody says, kick it, and he tips it into Jody Gunning. Jody Gunning now gets the ball in toward John Cooney. Cooney is shot, gets over the bar, and it's a point for Offaly. Shown by Sean Cooney, and now there's only one point between them. Four points in a row for Offley, and that shows how they're attacking in this second half. The score, Galway, one goal and seven points, that's ten points, Offley nine points, and 13 minutes gone in the second half. The rain comes down, and so does the ball. Grabbed by Jimmy Duggan. Way up the field for Galway. Going very near the end line, but Paddy McCormick gone out to police it out there. Paddy Stearns comes down to Willie Joyce of Galway. Willie's kick knocked down over there by Jody, by Sean Cooney, and it goes off Cooney, Galway ball. Line ball taken by Cody McDonough. Nicely fielded over there by Eugene Mulligan. And here comes Eugene, getting it up to Willie Bryan. Willie Bryan out now to Mert Connor. Mert Connor with the ball and inside him is Kevin Kilmurray, but Mert decides to take a shot himself. And there's the equalizer. Mert Connor from way out the field. And there it is, the man who got it. Mert Connor, top of the left. Sending that one over his second point of the day and the equalizer. Galway, 1-7, Offaly, 10 points, 14 minutes gone, second half. Tom Gibbley fouled into the free for Galway on the halfway line. Lean Sam. Pat Burke pushed in the back, free to Galway, just outside the 21, well, what would we call it? Nearer to 30. Well, it'll be 25 in a minute. Seamus Layton made it 25, an objection has been lodged, and it's now back to 30. Seamus to take the shot. Likely to the right. Concentration, here's his kick. It's gone over the bar, it's a point, it looked when it left his boot, but it was going to the left, but beautifully judged, he sent it over the bar, and now the score is Galway. One goal and eight points, 11 points. That is awfully 10 points. Galway leading by one point. The wind not anything like as strong as it was earlier on. John Smith trying to get to it. Ball breaks out this side of the field. Sent down field by Martin Heavey. Kevin Kilmurray getting it now. Jimmy Duggan try. Well, not Jimmy Duggan, but TJ Kilmore it was. Tommy Joe. Bringing down Kevin Kilmurray there, and there's a free in to be taken by Tony McKay, just inside the 50-yard line. Can this be the equalizer again? Oh, no. Out towards the right. It's gone off somebody's hand. It could be more than the equalizer. Jody Gunning trying to get in. The back's trying to keep him out. Jody Gunning across the goal now, and T.J. Smith saves it again under pressure. Oh, what a fine performance there, under pressure. A fine performance by P.J. Smith. Liam Salmon with the ball now for Galway. That's the kind of a save that could inspire a team. Line ball for Offley. 70 yards out from the Galway goal. John Smith, his kick knocked down. John Cooney high across into the goal mouth. Brendan Collins with it. The ball near the end line, and it's P.J. Smith again. Left-footed clearance to Liam Salmon. 
Eugene Mulligan, uh, not Eugene Mulligan, it's uh, Paddy McCormick with some way of pain. It's fouled in possession, and there is a free in for the off the man just inside the 70 yard line, and it's been taken by Paddy McCormick. Jody Gunning going off the off the team. In come Offley with another attack. A nicely feeder by Brendan Colloran. Martin Heavey and Tom Devilly going through it together. Paddy Fenning is on the Offley team. Three way goal. Quite dark here at Grove Park at the moment. Willie Bryan takes the kick. Liam Salmon with it now for Galway. Just about 35 yards from his own goal. Worrying his way upfield, but then belting the ball under pressure out over the sideline. Line ball for Offley. And the line ball is just inside of the Galway 70 yard line. Galway leading by one point on a miserable afternoon at the moment. Pouring rain and darkness getting in. Mick O'Rourke. His kick goes in towards the centre. Willie Bryan with it now on the 50. Willie takes his shot himself. It's a lobbing ball in towards the goal mouth. Hands grabbing it. It's a Galway man with it. And it's T.J. Gilmore with it. Comes out into the centre. Down comes Paddy McCormick. 70 yards out from the Galway goal. Out to the wing. Waiting for the ball. And there is a free. As Willie Joyce of Galway has gone down. So also has Eugene Mulligan. And Eugene Mulligan is up a free to Offley. Nick Cavan to take the kick just outside the 50 yard line. It's high and it's gone just barely wide. And Galway still lead by the skin of their proverbial teeth. And it's raining cats, dogs, and what have you at the moment. 19 minutes gone, second half. And honest to God, it's almost dark at the moment. Jack Cosgrove with the kick out. Liam Salmon playing one horse of a game in the center of the field. Up to Paddy McCormick, likewise for Offley. Mort Connor going after the ball. Brendan Colloran after him. It's gone off Colloran's hand. Line ball for the uh, Offley men. And this line ball is just about 20 yards out. Tony McTate to take it. Tony swings it high across the goal mouth. Noel Colloran lets it go off his hand. Tony McDonough grabbing it. Trying to get it out a bit. Succeeds. Willie Joyce under it. Spoiling tactics all round the place now. Nick Cavan with the ball. It's high. And it's the equalizer again. Nick Cavan the scorer. 20 minutes gone in this second half. And the score, 11 points each. Or if you prefer it, Galway, one goal of eight points. Awfully, 11 points. Well, they're level. Just 20 minutes gone, pouring rain, darkness and excitement. An awful lot of spoiling going on, A lot of, an awful lot of seats being vacated under the Cusick stand too. And a long freeway up the field. Noel Cotton doesn't quite hold on to it. John Evans gets it across the goal. But Mark Cotton's got the ball, it's shot. Oh! Oh! Go into the lead now with the score. One goal and 11 points to one goal and eight after about 21 minutes of play. Out in the center of the field. And it's Galway back into the attack. Up the field, but it's Nick O'Rourke with the ball now for Offley. His kick blocked down by a wholehearted Frank Canavan, but the ball goes off Frank out over the line for a line ball for Offley. Nick O'Rourke to take the kick. And the referee blows his whistle and the walls are free to Offley. Pat 
Burke has gone off the off the, uh, gone off the Galway team, and Michael Fearick has come on as a sub. Free by Paddy McCormack, poor Offley, gets it up the feet of Kevin Kilmurray. Kevin Kilmurray with the ball now, but... And the referee blows his whistle and awards a free to Galway for a foul on Nemo O'Neill. Kevin Kilmurray placing the ball for a free taken by uh, Jack Cosgrove and uh, the free taken but the off man standing too near it so there's another free for Galway taken by Jack Cosgrove comes up along the wing now to Michael Fearick Michael Fearick to Jimmy Duggan Jimmy Duggan trying to get it gets it up into his hand Across into the center to Frank Caravan. Frank on the 14 yard line. A shot that's bounding off somebody and it goes back and John Smith gets it. John Smith for Offley out to the far side of the field. John Cooney. Cody McDonough for, for Galway. Into Tom Gively. Tom Gively left footed screw shot across him towards the goal mouth and the ball is in the net. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal and it was scored on the top of the left by Seamus Layden. Seamus Layden went across. He was the one who jumped in on top of it. And the sides are level again. He was in there on top of it, picking it in. Just who finished it? Well, I don't know, but the honours of the score to Seamus Layden. The score, 2-8 for Galway. 1-11 for the Alfie men, 14 points each. And it's Liam Salmon up to this side of the field. Willie Bryan trying to show him mind that camera. Uh, Willie Bryan uh, trying to save it going over the sideline. Couldn't. And it is a line ball for Galway. We go back to 1952 for the last draw in an All-Ireland final. 14 points each at this stage. And it is Seamus Laden with the ball. Seamus was having a game of his life into the goal mouth. And it hops out over the end line. And it goes wide. Martin Furlong facing the ball for the kick out. It's about 24 minutes gone in the second half. From the kick out, the ball grabbed out in the center of the field by Mick Ryan, who's going soloing up the Gets it out to this side. Kurt Connor going out. And Brendan Colloran. Ball got up here now by Martin Heavey. Players skidding all round the show. But the uh, referee penalised Tom Gibley there. And there's a free for awfully taken by Willie Prime. Willie Prime way up the field. Mert Connor with it now. And Mert who's been picking them off from way up the field. TJ Smith coming out for this one. And feeling it way up far side of the field. Going near the sideline. Gone over the sideline. Line ball for Offley. About 25 minutes gone in the second half. 15 minutes left, the sides are level. It's pouring, pouring, pouring. The ball comes down right into the hands of Sean Evans. Sean Evans with it now, 35 yards out, high, and it's over the bar. Over the bar for the lead for Offley by one point. Sean Evans, the scorer. And that makes the score now. Offley, one goal and 12 points. That's 15 points. Galway, two goals and eight. That's 14 points. Almost the 26 minutes gone. Second half from the ball got out over the line for a line ball for the Offley men. Offley playing with the wind, but nothing like the strong wind that was there in the first half. Mick O'Rourke, who looks like, before somebody used a certain detergent, covered in mud, gets the ball in. Got out there by Emmett Farrell. Emmett coming up field with the ball now towards this side. Has he gone a step too far? He has. Willie Bryan with it now for Offley. Pretty near the sideline. Willie up along the left wing now. But kind of gone back in for it. Jack Cosgrove back there too. Sean Evans is back there. Somebody's going to come up with the ball in his hand. How he got it there, I don't know. It's Brendan Colloran. Brendan Colloran out to the far side. Misunderstanding there for Offley men, but it's Mick Ryan right down near the goal. Oh, it's easy. 50. It could have been worse. Jack Cosgrove got his hand to that ball going in. Almost unsighted. 
P.J. Smith are deflected the ball in. P.J. died for it, couldn't quite get it. And there is a 50 to be taken by Tony McTay. Well, they fought for stand seats and now they're empty. Here's the kick. It's gone in and it's gone over the bar. Another point for Offley. And it's Tony McTay who puts Offley two points ahead now. 27 minutes of play, Offley one goal and 13 points, Galway two goals and eight. That's his sixth point of the game. And Seamus Maiden has scored two goals and three points, so he's the chief scorer, but right now he's on the team, Galway, that trails by two points. Line ball for Galway, far side of the field. Line ball to Seamus Layton, but Seamus, I think, has brought it out and is a line ball for Galway. Or for Offley, I should say. Seamus brought that one out, very nearly kept it in play, didn't quite succeed. Noel Curran pissed it out towards the wing. Sean Cooney now for Offley. Sean Evans trying to get a hold of it. Jack Cosgrove, so here comes Jack with the ball to Willie Joyce. Willie Joyce now 50 yards out from his own goal. Way up field, the ball comes up to Michael Fierich. Michael now 50 yards out from the off the goal. And Michael chasing the ground about 35 yards out from the off the goal. A free to Galway who trail by two points and it will be taken by Liam Salmon. He lobbed it in towards the goal, brought down in there. And there's a free out as Eugene Mulligan is fouled in possession. And there's a free out for the Offley men, and Paddy McCormack will take it. Martin Furlong going back into the goal. If he hadn't got blue before that, he's got it now. Paddy McCormack with the kick. Very nicely held by T.J. Gilmore. P.J. up now towards Seamus Layton, goes off somebody's knee there, Michael Felix it was, and the ball comes down now to Kevin Kilmurray, Kevin Kilmurray into the centre, Nicholas Slavin, Kevin Kilmurray, P.J. Kilmore after Kevin Kilmurray now, trying to force him to play, he's held out of the ball too long, forced to hold on to it by the man from Cortoon. And T.J. putting all his vim and vigor and vitality into it, gets the ball up to Jimmy Duggan. Jimmy Duggan selling a dummy, is held, and there is a free for Galway, exactly the halfway line. Willie Joyce, up field to Frank Canavan. Frank Canavan racing up now on the 21 and the 14. And he is unceremoniously fouled there. And there is a free, the referee going in to have a word with Paddy McCormack for a most deliberate foul there. A foul there by Paddy McCormack on Frank Canavan. And there is a free to be taken by Seamus Layden, 14-yard line. And here's the kick. It's gone right across the far side. It's ball is grabbed, and out comes on the far side of the field, Eugene Mulligan, and Eugene Mulligan clears it down the field. Meanwhile, they're still attending to Frank Canavan, and now for Offley, Paddy Fenning up the field, intercepted there by T.J. Gilmore, and T.J. on the halfway line, a ground one, up the field to Seamus Layden. Seamus Layden is going through, he's held, and there's a free in four ball way, Offley giving away as uh, Galway go into the attack and there's Frank Canavan, he's all right, going back into his position and here's Seamus Layton. Again, he screwed it up the far side. This is, I can't think that this is an accident the way he's doing it. I think they're trying to work a move to tap a ball into the net but it didn't work on those last two occasions and there's a line ball for Galway about 30 yards out from the off the goal. Willie Joyce to take the kick. Hands grabbing the ball, coming to Jimmy Duggan, Jimmy Duggan on the 14, 
back now to Seamus Layden. Seamus Layden, a fisted one to tie, and it's fisted just to the left of the goal. And it's gone off, it's gone off one of the defenders. It's a 50, it was just to the left of the goal and wide. It went off one of the defenders. And if ever you saw candidates for the nearest shower bath, there they are. Galway trailing by two points, but let's face it, Galway pressing for the last five minutes. Jack Cosgrove has come up to take the 50, almost every Galway man up around the goal. Jack Cosgrove to Seamus Lady, doesn't hold it. Ball comes back out to Sean Cooney. Sean Cooney away up the far side of the field, going out towards the sideline, down over the sideline, a line ball for Galway. The score is one goal and 13 points for Offley. That's uh, 16 points. And for Galway, two goals and eight, that's 14 points. And there was Martin Furlong. 33 minutes gone. Liam Salmon. Nick Cavan now. Nick Cavan fouled, and there is a free out for the Offley team as Nick Cavan has gone down. And the not Nick Cavan, uh, Eugene Mulligan has gone down, and Paddy McCormick takes the free. Out towards the side of the field, Liam O'Neill up a bit the field. Ball grabbed in there. Jim Smith downfield. A referee blows his whistle, free to Offley, free to Offley for holding there, quickly taken, and Paddy Fenning gets it upfield now, Paddy Fenning to Mert Connor, Mert Connor about 30 yards out, Mert a high curling shot that has gone wide, and it's still two points between them. More switches in the, no it's not, I thought it was a switch in the Offley team, I think it's a new pair of gloves for Eugene Mulligan. Time ticking away now. About almost uh, 35 minutes gone. Correction, 34 minutes gone. Six minutes left in the game. And here's Willie Joyce for off uh, for Galway up and on the far side of the field. And the ball gone out over the line. Line ball for Offley. Offley leading by two points. Mick Ryan takes the kick, way up far side of the field. Sean Evans, boost off the ball there. Corey McDonough up the field. And the referee penalizes Eugene Mulligan for picking the ball off the ground, free to Galway. There'll be no dilly dallying on the way here. Dean Salmon, way up field. Michael Fury comes it now. Trying to cut inside. Pass that goes right into the waiting Mick Ryan for Offley. Going very near the sideline, gone over the sideline, line ball for Galway. Galway doing all the pressing, but uh, remember, Offley leading by two points. Five minutes left in the game. Jimmy Duggan, across. To Tom devilly has got it now. He kept it back to Seamus Layden. Seamus Layden kissed it in. And the ball grabbed there by Jim Smith and cleared out to this side of the field. Martin John Smith, I should say. I think I've called him Jim a couple of times. John Smith, of course. Liam O'Neill. And the ball kept in play. Tom Gibbley with it now back to Willie Joyce. Willie Joyce trying to work his way through, take the shot that's gone wide. Four minutes left in the game. Offley leading by two points. Two points away from their first goal Ireland. And the last score in the game was in the 27th minute. Paddy McCormick standing back for the kick out. Offley attacking again, but Tony McTague with the ball. 
Tony McKay coming across into the centre. Noel Collar and after him, but Tony is still going on. A shot gets in towards the goal mouth, and PJ Smith in the goal. Out to the far side of the field. Grabbed out there by Sean Tony. Tony McKay up in the right corner. And there's a free out. Free out to Steve O'Neill was under pressure there. Three minutes left in the game. Three minutes between Offley and their first ever All Ireland title. Tony McTague now high across the goal mouth. And it's PJ Smith. Nobody can say that he let Galway down today. Out comes the ball. And in it comes again now as Kevin Kilmurray steadies himself. And there's the important point. That makes us three points between them now. And that ball sent over by Kevin Kilmurray. That could be the clincher. The score with just, what, less two minutes left in the game. Offley, one goal and 14 points. Galway, two goals and eight. That is 17 points to 14. Out comes the ball, and back in it comes again. Sean Evans with it now. And Galway, under real pressure now, as the Offley men settle down. Pat Benning in towards the goal, but it's Jack Cosgrove coming up speed with the ball. Out towards the far wing, and... Paddy McCormick under pressure there, but the ball breaks down to John Smith. John Smith up now at the far side of the field, and the ball gone into goalkeeper Paddy Smith. Paddy left-footed, and who gets it but Paddy Fenning. Paddy Fenning for the Offaly team into the goal mouth, out towards the left, and it's gone wide. The scoreboard with time running out now. It is one goal and 14 points to two goals and eight in favour of Offaly. T.J. Kilmore for Galway, being tackled by Sean Evans, free up for the Galway men. Their dying effort now to try to pull the game out of, well, who could pull it out of a fire in a rainy day like this? It's Jimmy Duggan with the ball now. Jimmy Duggan right up through the centre. It's gone right back. Paddy McCormick has gone back to get it. Paddy is being tackled up there by Emmett Farrell. And the referee awards a free out to Offley for holding on to Paddy. And with the referee looking at his watch now, Paddy McCormick, number three, standing back. The Burnley Paddy, the man from Rhodes, coming to take the kick. And here's the kick into the centre of the field. It breaks down to Billy Joyce. And Joyce going up field with the towel. He sees fouled as he goes through, and now the whole of Galway has gone up around that off the goal. Liam Salmon leaving the ball for Seamus Layden to take the kick. Backs and forwards in around the goal. A shortish kick. Tips back into play, and there goes. now leaving the field after putting up a gallant effort indeed. Well, it's been a long time coming, which makes it all the sweeter for Offaly as they take over the Sam Maguire Cup. They won it today with the score. Offaly won the... And now Cardinal Conway congratulates... Willie Bryan on his victory, Dr. Morris does likewise. And just think, that off the team if they get back down there and get across to the other side of the field. And now, <laughs> Pat Bunny gets
it's as far as a card, eh? And if we hear the law, the bark and cork is real. It's all the gun right there. The Reverend Bua Egg on fire. The faithful county took the rear. I can't doubt the other deal is the know. Can't try to show now. The V on a man to San Pelo Emerticar. The Reverend Bua Cogoro Vinic. I can ish. Kashiaka. Don Kedur. Don Kedur. Don Kern Samboyer. Of the Wire. The Willie Bryan. Fun. For all of them, I've had no more. I've no more. Brunnemanish on Corn, or Willie Brian, I got four guard against. There it is, the moment they've been waiting for. Willie Brian with the Sam McGuire Cup, and now the whole Oxley team with the Sam McGuire Cup. Number the one. Number the one. So Willie, will you just give one minute? <laughs> Willie, one minute please for the captain of the Offaly team, Willie Bray. I look to run. And now I'd ask you, I see you just a card again. Wake is more lady. Pascal, what can I say? And this is the happiest day of my life. Hey, John. And I'm sure for you, supporters. It's put fair award for the years of time. But what about one, and I mean one big cheer, for the great old warrior, Paddy McCormick. There he is. At last, he has achieved his elusive goal. And I'd like to thank everybody concerned, the Oxley team, and most especially, Paddy Galuli. John Downey. John Downey. Hello, Kelly. John Braden. And Father McWee. And uh, of course, Ozzy Bennett. And Tom Darcy. But anyway. How about three cheers for the Glen and Galway team? Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Well, the way to get hushed around here is to be the captain of the Osley team. Dead silence, or almost dead silence, as Willie Bryan was addressing the crowd. And now, that journey down. They're certainly down for the Offaly men, and, well, they're entitled to every moment of that excitement. <laughs> and the crowd, out in the centre of the field, paying homage to the 15 men who brought success, this long-awaited success, to Offaly today. <laughs> Offaly, one goal and 14 points. Galway, two goals and eight. And now, Willie Bryan beginning to go down, led by Martin Furlong. Martin Furlong, the goalkeeper, just making his way out now. And now, Willie Bryan. And heaven help Willie Bryan when he hits that crowd down there. Here he comes with the Sam McGuire. Sean Evans, Sean Cooney. Then Paddy Fenning, Mud Connor, Kieran Caffey, the whole team as they go down, John Downing in the centre there. <laughs> and Willie Bryan, I would say, he almost has ribs broken down there. That's the team just going down out of the stand, but out in the centre. Out in the centre, slightly to the right of where we're looking now.
Father Galhuli just going down there, the trainer of the team, but out in the center, somewhere in there, you may see, you see the Sam McGuire Cup on the left there? Well, somewhere in under that is Willie Bryan. Well, <laughs> awfully people have waited for years to get their hands on it, and they've got their hands on it today. And if anybody would ever have any doubt of what winning an All-Ireland can mean to a county, I think the last five minutes must surely have proved it to them. And there goes Willie Bryan up again. And also gone up high. Well, the whole team going up now, but just beside Willie Bryan was the man that he called the first here for Paddy McCormick. Number three, there in the back. Number two, Mick Ryan. Number six, Nick Cavan, there on the left. Number seven, Martin Heavey. <laughs> and on the broad of his back, high up, <laughs> is Willie Bryan. Still holding on to that cup, but took a lot of getting, and he's not going to...